I'm going to show you how to use VVOX PowerPoint polling directly in your Teams meetings. Create a new VVOX session. Once you get to this page, start the session and create a few new polling questions. Once you've created some polling questions, head over to PowerPoint. First of all, we need to get the VVOX add-in, so we just need to go to the Home tab on the ribbon in PowerPoint and click Add-ins and do a quick search for VVOX. Once you've searched for VVOX, make sure you just add that in by pressing this button here. Now, if you're part of an institution or organization, you may need to get your IT department to get this approved for you. When we have the add-in installed, we just need to select the session that we want. Business plan meeting here. We need to add in our polling questions by clicking the add button. And we also need to do a joining instruction slide here. Move the slides to where you want them in the presentation making sure the question slide and the result slide for the polling questions stay together or else it won't work properly. Once that's all in place, we need to go ahead and create our Microsoft Teams meeting. Head over to your Teams calendar and create the meeting for the date that you want it to be on. Once that's all in place, you can go ahead and press send. Double click on the Teams meeting in your calendar. Press the add a tab button here and do a quick search for VBOX. Log into your account as usual, and then add the VBOX session that you want to add to this Teams meeting. And now we're ready. Go ahead and join the meeting. Once you've joined the meeting, make sure you go ahead and share your full screen, and then run your presentation in slideshow mode. So once you start sharing your screen with your audience directly through Teams, this is what they'll be able to see. The slideshow, the presentation in full slideshow mode, and also the VVOX tab will be on the right hand side open as long as they click on it at the top there. And once you go ahead and advance your slide just by pressing enter or that right arrow key, the polling question will automatically open. So you don't need to open this in a separate tab or window anywhere. As soon as you advance your slide, the audience will be able to see that question. And once they voted, you just advance the slide again to close the polling question and show the results to everyone. You then go ahead and advance through your presentation as you normally would. And then once we get onto this next polling slide, you'll see that opens for everyone on the call and they can go ahead and contribute to that polling question by answering it in that right hand panel directly through Teams. All of your data has been captured within the slides and also within your VBOX dashboard. And that's it from me. I hope that was really nice and simple and easy to follow. Do be sure to check out the links in the description just below and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are new. We'll see you on the next tips video. Thank you.